world champion in the uh, Kieran event and also in points race competition on the track. In fact, he won the professional points race, went on to win the professional points race in 1986. Here we have the actual first road stage, and uh, there's a solo breakaway from uh, Pedersen. Uh, Pedersen is a, an interesting personality here in uh, his home country of uh, Denmark, I believe. He is uh, a rock star. He's, uh, he could really be making uh, a living as a, as a singing celebrity. Instead, he chooses to ride the bike, and only during the off-season does he um, participate in... Uh, in um, singing as a as a celebrity it's a beautiful countryside in the Giro d'Italia 21 stages overall in this event and this year the Giro started in Sicily uh, so the first few stages that you're gonna see here it's all in the uh, in the uh, section of Italy that uh, it's in the southernmost part and uh, an island in itself Sicily there is a lot of Italian Americans with uh, roots in this part of uh, Italy. The weather certainly cooperated here on this opening stage, although the weather in, in Sicily generally in the summertime is quite good. It's a, uh, a bit of a tourist uh, attraction uh, sort of place to be, a nice uh, uh, place to spend some time in the summer. Actually, if anything, it was very appropriate because um, I remember being in the northern part of Italy at this time and watching it live, and uh, where we were, it was quite cold in some of the days, whereas uh, as you can see, they were enjoying uh, excellent weather. As the caravan moves north, you're going to see some definite changes in the weather to the point that in some of the uh, mountain stages, they, there was quite a bit of snow. The graphic that appears here indicates that our breakaway at this point is, sh is uh, showing a 30-second advantage over the main peloton. There you can see a camera shot then back to the main field in this first stage, a 30-second breakaway at this point in the bike race. Some of the graphics that will... Uh, help explain what what's going on in addition to uh, to our commentary in the bottom there you basically have uh, 69th Giro of Italy first stage and the RAI in the right hand corner is uh, the um, mark of the Italian national television here the breakaway is being joined by one of Freuler's teammates on the uh, Atala team this is Bugno it's uh, an up-and-coming uh, rider this is his first year as a professional, and uh, there are some great hopes for him. And as it turned out, uh, during the season, he won several uh, major races, um, including the Giro del Piemonte, I believe. And uh, they really have some high expectations for this uh, this rider. As he catches the breakaway and then counterattacks the break, as you can see, Buño is taking off on his own here through the winding countryside. Again, the traveling caravan, the traveling circus that is a major international stage race, including the uh, camera motorcycle, which is accompanying Buño on his effort right now. All the team support cars, press vehicles, commissaire vehicles, and, uh, and vehicles the, of every kind. And the helicopter, which is uh, widely used both in uh, Italy and in France. There's a helicopter shot right there showing how the riders... Uh, race very close to one another as a long sort of uh, tapering front part of the peloton is is moving along very quickly riders in single file there at the very front and then it uh, spreads back to the main body of the pack how many riders are in this particular uh, year's Giro I believe about 170 started you can see by the size of the pack it's uh, it's a considerable number We're seeing a uh, little bit of climbing here. There was no real significant climbing in these uh, stages in Sicily, uh, but there was uh, a lot of rolling terrain, and here in particular we're seeing a, a bit of climbing, nothing, nothing really significant. This is a rider, Santa Maria. Um, he's one of these riders that uh, has always been on the verge of making it big, but never can come up with a big one. Uh, in this particular stage, I believe he wins it and uh, goes on to wear the uh, leader's jersey. It only lasted for a couple of days, but nevertheless, he did have his, his chance at, uh, at glory. Again, the graphic uh, that was there a moment ago telling us he's rider number 36, his name's Santa Maria, and he's 29 years old. And here you can see how small his margin of victory, in fact, is that... Uh, 
that he is a winner, but not by much. Of course, an inch is as good as a mile, as they say, for a victory in a bike race. Except in a stage race. Carlos Manuel.